Dr. Stanley Pepkin. I am an urban microecosystem naturalist. You may be asking yourself, Dr. Pepkin, what is an urban microecosystem naturalist? Well, if you don't know, you're not alone. Why not spend a day with me, Dr. Stanley Pepkin, and discover the world of urban microecosystems? This is the area of the subject of my study. It's over. You gotta come this way. This, uh, it's not this tree, but it's, it's underneath this tree. You, you gotta see it over here. It's, it's not these bushes, but you keep coming. It's over in this area to the right of the sprinkler head, including this cigarette butt and half the twig and the cap and, and this leaf, but uh, not the wrapper, this area here. Information that I gather applies to a great many things. Information that I gather on this area to the right of the cigarette butt and remember half the twig and the cap and this leaf but not this wrapper, this area I can apply to this area here just to the left of the wrapper and to the right of this styrofoam thing and including that orange berry but not this part of the leaf I don't I don't want that one but the berry yes it's very important work I use a field notebook to record my observations this is my field notebook here's an example day and you can see that uh, nothing happened on that day but the next until that, not the next day, but the, not that day either, but the next day, oh, this day, this was a very momentous day. On this, as you can see from my notes, a spider came into the area, it stopped and then left the area. I'm not sure what kind of spider it was, I'm not an entomologist. <laughs> I'm an urban micro-ecosystem naturalist. I worry about man's effect on the environment. Here you see how man has affected the environment. There is a cup that's right on top of the area. To the right of the cigarette butt and half the twig. I remember the cap and the leaf, but not the, the wrapper. It's pollution. There are some people that would like to see me, Dr. Stanley Pepkin, stop my work. Thank you. 